SSRIs in pregnancy may shape the adolescent brain. When it comes to depression and anxiety, SSRIs, or selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, have long been seen as life-changing medications. But what happens when these drugs are taken during pregnancy? New research suggests the answer may be more complicated than anyone thought. For years, scientists at Columbia University puzzled over strange results. In mice genetically engineered to lack the serotonin reuptake protein, essentially mimicking the effect of SSRIs, the animals didn't become calmer or less anxious. In fact, they became more anxious and depressed. This surprising outcome sparked a critical question. Could the timing of serotonin increases during development be key? Their next study provided a clue. Mice exposed to SSRIs early in life, the equivalent of late pregnancy in humans, developed anxious and depressive behaviors later on. Alarmingly, when the researchers followed up with human data, they found a similar pattern. Children whose mothers took SSRIs during pregnancy showed higher rates of depression once they hit adolescence. But separating the effects of SSRI exposure from maternal depression is difficult. Is the drug to blame or the underlying mental health condition? To answer this, researchers dove deeper. Using mouse models and brain imaging data from children, they focused on fear circuitry, the brain networks tied to anxiety and depression. Mice exposed to SSRIs in utero showed amplified fear responses later in life. And when researchers looked at children whose mothers had taken SSRIs during pregnancy, they saw the same exaggerated fear responses on brain scans, responses absent in kids whose mothers had depression but did not use SSRIs. This suggests a unique biological fingerprint linked directly to the drug, not the maternal condition. Still, the research raises thorny clinical questions. Should pregnant women stop SSRIs? The answer, for now, is no. As the scientists emphasize, these medications remain vital for many, and the risks of untreated depression during pregnancy are serious. However, this work points to the need for a better understanding and potentially safer alternatives. The team is now exploring other antidepressants that work through different pathways, like norepinephrine, which may not carry the same risks. They're also studying drugs that act on serotonin in the gut instead of the brain, which could offer future pregnant patients safer options. This research is still in its early days, but it opens up new, urgent conversations about how we treat depression during pregnancy and how early brain development may be shaped by medications intended to help. Science doesn't yet have all the answers, but thanks to this work, we're asking better questions. This video is based on the research paper, Perinatal SSRI Exposure Impacts Innate Fear Circuit Activation and Behavior in Mice and Humans by Jay Gingrich et al. in Nature Communications. What do you think about this study? Drop us a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neuroscience news updates.